four horses were approaching the steps of the Kalatapura River. There were four warriors on four horses. They are the ones we know. Parthibendran, Kanamaran, Vandiyathevan, and Pani's Selvar. The first two of these arrived in a boat ready to cross the Kaladam and sail northwards. The other two came to answer them and send them off. On reaching the boathouse the four friends dismounted. Kandamara! Isn't all your anger towards your old friend gone? Do you still have something left? Asked Pani's Selvar. Sir! What reason is there to be angry with him? There is so much reason to sympathize with my ignorance. For him to forget all the harm I had done him and to be friendly to me as of old, there is no match for that magnanimity. He saved my sister from drowning in the river, and for that I owe thanks in this life. Can I pay? When I think of how my wits have been spoiled, I am amazed. Did I not marry Manamekali as I had originally intended? If I had done so, she would not have become a beggar like this today, would she not? Said Kanamaran. Why do you say that? I have a slight memory lapse due to the shock of falling in the river flood. Won't it get better after a few days? Said the prince. It doesn't seem like a normal memory lapse. She remembers everyone else. Everything. She doesn't recognize me and Vandiyathevan alone. My chest seems to explode when I think of the love she had for me. Oh! I killed my dear brother with my own hand. Her voice is still in my ears. Why should she scream like that? Are you alive? I am alive. It would have been better if I had died. Yes, sir. She is sure that I have killed Vandiyadeva, and that she has killed me for it. At one time she mourns over me. At another she remembers my friend and says, Will the flood of the river return? Bring back the dead. She lamented. No matter how much she said, she would not accept me as her brother. She could not recognize Vandiyadeva either. Who are you? Have you seen Prince Valadu? She asks him. Really? When Pani Selvar looked back, Vandiyathevan saw tears welling up in his eyes. Damn it! How happy would she be if she knew that now Vandiyathevar has become Valadu's prince, not Valadu's prince? Has she not given up on that? said Parthipendra. Hearing this, Kanamaran looked at Pani's lover with a look of surprise on his face. Yes, father. The emperor has decided to give back the country of Vanagapadai to your friend and make him king. Amitrai has also decided to give you a separate kingdom near Vanagapadai that was ruled by the Vaithumpareyas. From now on, you two have to live in the same neighborhood. You must always behave in such a way that your friendship is not affected, said Pani's Selvar. The emperor's mercy seems to know no bounds. So, I don't have to go to Katapur again, do I? Kanthamaran asked with some excitement. No need, your old palace over there is probably burned down. If you go there again, old memories will come back. Build a new palace on the south bank of the river. When your sister is well, she can come there too. Come again. I don't think that Manamegala will come with us any more. Their grandmother Sempiyan Madeviyar has said that she will take her with her on Stalyatra. Manamegala is also very fond of Big Brady. Even today, Big Brady has taken my sister to Tiravayaru. Yes, they have gone in a big party. My stepfather and Chitana, who are newly married, have also gone. Listen to this joke. I must consider Samadra Kumari as my Chitana from now on. There has never been such a modest marriage in the Chola clan, like the marriage between Madhurandhagar and Punguzali. Said Parthipendra. Even my coronation is going to be so modest. A realm as I said. Vandiyathevan said, that's a daily thing. Pani Selvar, acting startled, asked, what are you saying won't happen? My Patabi Shekham. Said. Vandiyathevan said with some embarrassment, No, sir. I said it was impossible to walk modestly. Now people have started inquiring and talking about their coronation. He said. Come again. 
shouldn't we be there for their coronation ceremony? You are sending us to the north at this time, they were talking in Tanjore that when the month of Tai was born, the day would be marked for the consecration. Vandiyathevan is the one who gave it, the lucky one. Said Kanamaran. All that is nothing. I am going to send Vandiyathevar to Elam soon. Friends. One thing is for sure. My coronation will not take place without you, my dear friends. Pani Selvar said firmly. Thank you very much, sir. As soon as the day for the coronation is fixed, give straw to the horsemen and we will arrive immediately, said Kanthamaran. We must conquer the hilly country to the west and the Lakshadweep in the sea beyond, and make our troops station there. A Sira king has come from somewhere in the hill country. Even in the country of Pandai, some Pandian will suddenly leave. The kings of Sri Lanka are the ones who give strength to this new Chera, Pandyas. Therefore, Mahinda and his forces, who are hiding in the mountain caves of Esla country, should be hunted down and their strength should be completely destroyed. We must bring the entire island of Sri Lanka under our rule. Is it enough to expand the kingdom? Big temples and Vishnu temples should be erected on this holy land, which would defeat the stupas of Buddha in the country of Elam. Those who are going to come to this heroic country after a thousand years should be amazed by the great works we have done in our time. Friends. All these dreams are going to be fulfilled in my time. I will finish it. Each of you should help with that. Parthapendra. I have given them the highest military post in the Chola country, the post of Vadasamatandanayaka, which was held by my Tamayanar Kari Kalar. You have to fulfill that responsibility properly. My Tamayaner's untimely death would have stirred up many desires among our enemies. King Venji and King Iratrakuta were expecting internal disturbances in the Chola country and wars among the petty kings. Therefore, our soldiers should stand like iron ramparts on the bank of the North Girl and guard it. The descendants of the Palavar clan. Magnetism, leave the commander there and return immediately to Kanchi. There, Make the golden palace built by my valiant brother suitable for the emperor to come and stay. As soon as the crown is placed on my head, the emperor wants to leave for Kanchi. Hearing this, Kanamaran's eyes filled with tears, come again. Have I not yet proved my fighting prowess on the battlefield? Are you appointing me as the commander of the border guard force? Am I eligible? he asked in a whisper. Friend. The Almighty God has given me some powers. He has also given me the power to easily find out who is who and who is fit for which task. Just as you have been appointed as the commander of the Northern Frontier Force, I have appointed your friend Val Latracer as the commander of the Elam Force. I am confident that both of you will fulfill your duties well. Said Pawnee Selver. It is a good idea to keep one of them on the northern border and the other on the southern border for some more time. If they join somewhere, if they are not there, old memories will come and they will clash even if they clash, Parthapendra said. Sir. There will never be another day like this. Vandiyathevan went near Kanamaran while saying that. Friend. You have forgiven all my mistakes haven't you? He asked. Vandiyathevan did not respond with his mouth and stretched both his arms and hugged Kanthamaran to his chest. Both the friends wept in silence for a while. Later, Parthapendra and Kanamaran went and boarded the prepared boat. Pawnee's lord and Vandiyathevan watched till the boat was halfway down the river and turned their horses towards Tanjavur.